I was chosen to suffer. What I'm realizing is that suffering is the part of being a Jew. Suffering is the blessing of a Jew. The blessing of the Jew is beyond the pleasure principle. Happiness is a short-lived experience. The suffering is a longer period of longer pleasure. Suffering is a pleasure from the point of view of the death instinct, of the death drive, what's called in Freudian psychology beyond the pleasure principle. The idea of loss. You know, I never brought this into Judaism. I always had it in my tennis. I was the originator of the will to lose. But that's what Judaism is. These last few days, all these things have come together for me. I seek loss. I seek the burden to carry of suffering because underneath I'm a masochist. That's my sexual excitation. Masochism is beyond well, it's beyond sadism. It's the of the self the suffering of the self, not of the other. It's the self, and that self you carry around with you all the time, and that's the ultimate in sexuality. One always makes masochistic or apparently wrong choices. This is the gambler's advantage. The, the house's advantage in gambling. The bookmaker, excuse me, the bookmaker's advantage. The bookmaker's advantage is that he lets you choose. You choose the game you're going to bet on. Because underneath, by definition, you want to lose. You want to suffer. You know, the word suffering, it comes, it's savel, it means a porter, like a porter in a train station that used to carry your bags in a transition from the train to the car, waiting, carried your bags. Porter in an airport carries your bags from the the plane to the car. He carries this. That's Savel. That's, that's a porter. That's suffering in Judaism. And the beauty of that is that the gematria of Savel, Samek, Bet, Lamed. Samek is 120. Bet is 412. Lamed is 71. Uh, 74 Lamed. That's 606, and that's the gematria of Atzmutz. The Savel, suffering is the essence. Beyond the pleasure principle, because pleasure is only short-lived, but suffering is long-lived. And it stays with you longer, and it transforms into pleasure of the suffering. As a Jew, I'm part of the chosen people. I'm chosen for suffering. <laughs> you, 
You want to you want to be a Jew? Then choose yourself for suffering. It's admitting you're a masochist. Admitting you're in the death instinct. Admitting you were a slave. What did Hashem do? What did Yud Kevavke do? He brought us out of the land, the, the slavery of Egypt, to be a slave to Him. Be a real slave in all dimensions, in, in the religious dimension. And what did he do after that? He expels us. First of all, expelled from Gan Eden, from the total pleasures of Gan Eden. We're expelled from the temples, from Jerusalem. We're removed from Spain and Portugal into diasporas and kicked out of countries. But the major thing is the Holocaust. We were chosen for the Holocaust. And what could be what could be more suffering than the Holocaust? And and how could it be? Well, that's why. Because you're chosen for suffering. And the worst things are these Holocaust museums, and even worse than that is is the Ely Wiesel saying it'll never happen again. What do you mean it won't happen again? I'm not going to be chosen for suffering again? Boo! I'm living my suffering now. Court case, brother death, family death, other problems. I'm suffering. That's what makes me a Jew. And it's bringing me to a level that you've never heard this before in Judaism, have you? The will to lose. The will to fail. My life has no meaning other than suffering. Suffering is its meaning. And it's leading me like growth, like, like you need, like you, you need a, a fertilizer, but fertilizer is a f- fancy name for manure. <laughs> fertilizer. To make the plant grow. The difference between Christianity and, and Judaism is that Christianity is the, this positive happiness, looking for happiness. Jew knows better. It's going to suffer. That's okay. From now on, that's what you're going to hear. Hear, hear. You know when they say, hear, hear? Well, one of those is, H-E-A-R, and the other one's H-E-R-E. Not here, here, H-E-R-E, H-E-R-E, but here, here, H-E-A-R, H-E-R-E. It's a, a, a double entendre in one ear, here, here. Because this is, this is it. And if you're not able to suffer, then go. And if you don't think this hellhole is suffering, then you're mistaken, you see. Now, It's the will to lose. It's masochism. The 
primal sexuality of a human being is masochistic. Check it yourself. Do people really make the right choices for themselves? Or choices that lead to apparent social failure? Because even the right choices, according to TikTok, according to time, lead to failure at the end because your time is running out to be the true self. So how does one express his true self within society? What is this? It's the burden of, it's the savel, it's the, how much can you carry? How much can the porter carry in his bags? Well, pile it on. Pile the suffering on. I'm not looking for the momentary happiness, the laugh. Pile it on. That's what it means to be a Jew. <laughs>